Good evening. I expect you're all very hot, anyone listening. <laughs> I think it's hot everywhere. I haven't listened to any news, so I've no idea, but I know it was forecast for all of us, so I don't think any of you have missed the heat. I think we've been in a lot of heat today. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you prayers. Um daily meditations with the Holy Spirit and I'll begin with some few prayers uh, we are on Monday 18th of July 2022 the time is about 1842 in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen prayer to my guardian angel O angel of God my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And a prayer to St. Michael, the Archangel, for all of us, for our protection. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil wicked spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And we'll pray a prayer for life. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O mother, on the vast number of babies not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick, killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God the creator and lover of life and in temptation Lord save me or I perish keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus help me, Mary help me, my holy angel watch over me, and in trouble, in all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done, praised and exalted above all for ever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and for all those in sickness and pain. Lord, your will be done. I take this for my sins. I offer up to you my sufferings, together with all that my Saviour has suffered for me. And I beg you through his sufferings to have mercy on me. Free me from this illness and pain, if you will. And if it be for my good, you love me too much to let me suffer, unless it be for my good. Therefore, O Lord, I trust myself to you. Do with me as you please. In sickness and in health, I wish to love you always. Amen. 
and a prayer for chastity for those that have issues. O oh my God, teach me to love others with the purity of your Holy Mother. Give me the grace to resist firmly every temptation to impure thoughts, words or actions. Teach me always to love with generosity and goodness, to respect myself and others in the way I act and to reverence the way that you have given us for the creation of new life in thanksgiving. My God, from my heart I thank you for the many blessings you have given me. I thank you for having created and baptised me and for having given me so many graces and mercies through the merits of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, dear Jesus, for having become a little child for my sake, to teach me to be holy and humble like you, and for having died upon the cross, that I might have pardon for my sins and get to heaven. Also, I thank you for all your other mercies, most of all for those you have given me today. Prayers to the Holy Spirit, Veni Creator. Come Holy Spirit, Creator come, from thy bright heavenly throne. Come take possession of our souls, and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the Paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, True peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the Eternal Son, and thee the Spirit of them both, thrice blessed three in one. All glory be to the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, great Paraclete, while endless ages run. Veni Sancti Spiritus, come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Our senses kindle from above, and make our hearts overflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive far from us the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside? O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit 
and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm now going to share with you the daily meditation with the Holy Spirit for the 18th of July, he should be all with us now with all those prayers to the Holy Spirit. So the reading will be taken from 1 John 3, verse 24. All those who keep his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. The reflection. There is an interior and an exterior dimension to our faith. The interior dimension is that we have the Spirit of God in our hearts, a Spirit who teaches us who God is and what God wants of us. The exterior dimension is that we keep God's commandments and live in God's ways. The prayer. May I abide in you, Holy Spirit, expressing my faith in word and deed. Amen. And the prayer at the front of the book is worth sharing. Come, Holy Ghost, creator blessed and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. I'm sure you're probably all falling asleep by now with the heat. <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't wrong you either because this sort of weather just makes you want to sleep and sleep and sleep. And that's what you should do, <laughs> if you can, and not in the sun, where you might get burnt while you're asleep. Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you God's peace and abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And thank you again for listening, sharing and commenting. God bless you all. I'll be back soon.